Daryl is making a pattern for a quilt. The pattern shows 40 squares. You can see the pattern down here at the bottom. They have an example. Every fourth square is blue. The pattern, or um, how many blue squares are in the pattern? So given the model here, this is easy to figure out because we're going to count every fourth square and we're going to make it blue. So um, it's giving the, de we have the definition of a pattern. We just did a, an assignment on pattern. I know you guys know what pattern means, but here's the formal definition of it. A pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. Each number or object in the pattern is called a term. That's a new word for you, right? You haven't heard the, the word term. So in the first case, this one, we know the fourth square needs to be blue. So one of the terms is four. We're not coloring yet. What is the next one going to be? Which one is going to be my next blue square? Aiden. Eight. Eight. OK, you guys can actually use your pencil to color and keep up with me, just using your pencil. What's my next one going to be? But I want everybody participating. Twelve. 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 Then? Sixteen. Are you noticing a pattern just while I'm figuring out each number? Yes. Have you noticed a pattern? What am I doing? Who can raise a quiet hand and explain what I'm doing? Ronnie, what am I doing? I'm counting some of the even numbers. We can even be more specific than that. Yes, Tony? You're like kind of making a zigzag with the numbers. Oh, so when you look on my pattern, yes, I'm, I'm doing that for sure. Bella? Uh, counting by four. I'm skip counting by four, aren't I? So what's my next one going to be? 20. And then? 24. Now we know we're skip counting. It makes it a lot easier, right? And then? 28. 28. And then? 32. What's next? 36. And the last one will be? 40. Okay. So down here it asks which squares are blue. I could do this without even looking at it because I know how to skip count by fours, and I know most of you do too. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. My pen is very light. It was working. Now it's not 36 and 40. I'm going to switch. Okay. So if I count up all my blue squares, or I count up all the numbers I wrote here, we called each of these a term, what, how many do I have? I want you to take a second and count them all. How many blue squares are there? Ten. Ten. Is there anyone who didn't count them and found them a different way? How did you find the number, Brian? Because, because I had a 40 at the end, so I know 4 times 10 Right, so you can divide 40 divided by 4, because it's every fourth one. You could actually divide 40 by 4, and you would know that there's going to be 10. But in this case, they want to know which square is going to be colored. Okay, what pattern do you see when you look at the arrangement of the squares, the blue squares? Someone had already started to say, but what kind of pattern do you see? I want you guys to think about it for a minute. All right, who would like to um, describe a pattern that they see? Luna. So as far, if we can't go by rows, by rows, there's two, three, two, three as far as how many blue squares there are. Is there another way to describe what you see? A pattern? Yes. A cross. Explain in more words. Eight times eight, sixteen, twelve. Oh, so you're like making diagonals? Okay, you see as Diagonal with a space in between, right? Okay. Um, 
or you can, in rows going down, it's every other. So there's a lot of ways you can describe the patterns that you see. What pattern do you see in the numbers? So before we're looking at the blue squares, what about the numbers? What pattern do you see in the numbers? We've actually already said this once. What's one of the way patterns we see? Um, Haley. Okay, they're all even. What else? They're skip counting by four, right? What is, why is my lights, my thing so bad today? What is, if we use words that we learned yes, or not yesterday, but two days ago, if we used words, how would we describe all of these numbers? These are all something that we've learned in this lesson. What do you think? No, that was yesterday. So I'm talking two days ago. Not composite or prime. They're all definitely composite, yes, but I'm thinking of something else. Yes. They're all multiples, right? Multiples of what, Jaden? Of four. Okay, which makes sense because they said every fourth square. So it makes sense that we have multiples of four. Now we have to look for finding and explaining a pattern. And we talk about something called a rule. How many of you have heard that before when describing a pattern you have to, what is the rule? Okay, we've actually even had those questions this year, I believe. The rule of the pattern below, we, we are told, is to add five. So they've done the first term is five. The second one is? Ten. Ten. What will be the third term? Go ahead and tell me. Fifteen. Fifteen. How did you guys find that it was fifteen? Sophia. Because we just added five more to ten. Add five more to ten? And how did you know you were supposed to add five more to ten? We just skip counting. We're skip counting, and how did we know, though, we need to skip count? Like, how did we know that we're going to add five? Preston, what do you think? Because five plus four equals ten. Five plus five, five equals five. ten. Did it tell me somewhere that I'm supposed to do five? What is it, guys? It's called the rule. The rule, the rule was to add five. Okay, so I know that each time I'm going to add 5. So what is my next term? 20, 20 and then? 25. And next? 30. And my last one? 35. Okay, so if I write them all here, it shows it here in the, um, in the bouncing, basically. That's what those little bumps look like to me, bouncing. Go ahead and write those down. Oops, that would be a 35. Write those down and complete the last two that they leave you lines for. What did we end on? Forty. Forty-five. That's right. What was the one in between? Forty. What do you notice about the digits in the one place? Look at the digits on these terms, and what do you notice about the digits in the one place? One's place. Christine. Never mind. Okay, Nicholas. They end the ones place is a five or a zero, and all of them. We kind of knew that already about counting by fives, didn't we? That they end in a five or a zero. So describe the pattern of these numbers using the words odd and even. I want you right now to write on your own. Describe the pattern of these numbers using the words odd and even in your description. Go ahead. Okay, who would like to? Sh Ooh, ow. Who would like to share the pattern, how they describe the pattern using the words odd and even? Um, Luna. The pattern, the pattern goes odd, even, odd, even, or even, odd, even, odd, whatever. Did anybody do anything different? It does do that. It says it starts with an odd, an even, odd, even. Okay. Either one of those would work. All right. How about describe the, yeah, describe the pattern using the word multiples? Describe the pattern using the word multiples. Describe the pattern using the word multiples, Andy. They're all. Writing multiples of five. Okay. 
So if you have not written down something on those two, you need to get that done real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and start on the next one. The rule for the pattern below is add 3, then subtract 1. The first term in the pattern is 6. So it tells me right here I need to add 3. So what's my next number going to be? 9. 9. And then it tells me to subtract, subtract one. 1. So my next number will be? 8. eight. Then I need to? Add 3. Which is? Oh. No. 11. 11. And then I'm going to? Subtract, subtract 1. Hold on. 10. Then I'm going to add 3, which will be? 13. And then I'm going to subtract 1, and I'm going to get 12. I want you guys to finish the pattern all the way to the very end. Okay, it tells you, or let's finish it real quick. What, did, what was my next number after 12? 15. And then what was? 14. 17. What is a pattern you see in these numbers? Look at the numbers and find yourself a pattern. Write it out here because I'll call on you in just Okay, so the first two numbers are multiples of 3. Okay. That's definitely a pattern. What did you get, Malia? Um, that it goes odd and even. Odd, even, odd, even. It goes that way all the way, right? It's an odd number, even number, odd number, even number, odd number. Definitely, that works too. Did somebody get something, anything besides those two patterns? Jalen. They get greater and then smaller. Okay, Ethan. Every other number is adding two. So you're starting here in 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Do you notice I'm skip counting by twos? What, so I'm skip counting by twos every other number. And then, I'm, and then the second one, I'm skip counting by twos odd numbers. 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. Oh, I love the light bulbs. Okay, so there's some patterns. There's definitely some patterns. Yeah, you're right, for effect, and it does get annoying. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this page. Use the rule to write the numbers in the pattern. So it says subtract 10 is the rule. The first term is 100. So what comes after 100? 90. 90. How did you guys know it was 90? Explain it to those that are zoning out right now. Brian, how did you know it was 90? Excuse me. I meant explain it to the class. I'm sorry. I wasn't saying like tell your partners. I was having, go ahead, yes. Because the rule is to subtract 10. Subtract 10. So what's the next one? 80. Okay, finish the rest of those. All right, where were they? 70, After 60. And then if I wrote those again here down at the bottom, I can continue. And what would be the next one just for fun? 50, 50, okay. 40, 40. And then you would keep going. All right, I would like for you to do number two on your own. The rule is to multiply by two. You always multiply the next term by the, you always apply the rule to the term before it. So if 4 is my multiply by 2, then I get what? 8. 8. Now I have to take 8 and multiply by 2. 16. Now I need to take 16 and multiply by 2. 32. And now I take 32 and multiply by 2? 64. 64. Okay? That's how you apply the rule when you're doing the pattern. You apply it to the number right before it. Okay? What is another pattern that we're doing in here? And here, how's another way that we could describe this? Jalen. Uh, there are multiples of three or four. They're all multiples of four. They are. They're not every multiple of four, but they're all. They are all multiples of four. So we could say they're all divisible by four, right? 8 times 2 is 16. Oh. And 16 times 2 is 34. All right, this one tells us to go ahead and skip count by 6. If the first term is 12, the next one will be? 18. Go ahead and finish it. Um, what was six, 18 plus 6 was? 
24. What was next? 30. 30. 36. Did anybody, um, would anybody like to share the other rule that they came up with? Aiden? Mm, I'm looking for another um, pattern. I mean, sorry, not another rule. Another pattern. Daniel. Okay, that was the what it was telling us to do though. Skip count by six. What's another um, pattern we did here, Luna? They are all even. Is it all even numbers? No, but these are all the ones up here are all even. What else can we say about them? They're all. If I use a word that starts with M. Multiples, multiples of six. of six. 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 six.